Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Latte Panda and I wanted to test out the Minecraft Windows 10 edition. So if you're not familiar with the Latte Panda, this is a small single board Windows 10 computer. It runs an Atom X5 Z8300 at 1.4 gigahertz. It will turbo to 1.6. This model here has two gigabytes of RAM. They do make a four gigabyte model. It also has 32 gigabytes of built-in storage and the four gigabyte model has 64. Really not a bad little board. Um, it is very low spec. As you see, it has a tiny little atom in it. I have tons of videos. If you want to check those out, I'll leave some links in the description and at the end of this video. So let's get right into it. Options. We want to make this full screen. So I am recording at 1080p, 60 FPS. We're going to create a new world. Okay, so let's check out these options here. We have the render distance set all the way up, anti-aliasing all the way up, texture anti-aliasing all the way up, particle render distance all the way up. Fancy graphics, beautiful skies, and fancy leaves. Everything's turned on pretty much. Let's see how it performs like this. Ooh. Very low frame rate. Now, I did try to find out a way to turn the frame rate on within the Windows 10 edition here, and I couldn't figure it out. If you guys do know of a way, let me know in the comments below. I can install a third-party app, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to tell if this is playable or not without the FPS listed. So this is very slow. As you can see, very laggy. Let's drop down here. Yeah. So let's turn that rendering distance down a bit. So if we go to right here, and to tell you the truth, we don't need anti-aliasing on at all for Minecraft. It's Minecraft, guys. Let's go back. Oh wow, yeah. Very good performance now. Let's see how it works. Full speed rolling across the land here. Still a little laggy when we turn. But there's some more settings we can change here to get better performance. It's definitely playable at this frame rate here. Not bad. Go back. Options. So I like having my render distance up as much as possible because uh, I want to see far off into the distance, but we're going to come down one more. We're going to turn these particle render distance about halfway. Do we need fancy graphics? I don't. Beautiful skies? Yes, I like the beautiful skies. Fancy leaves? I don't need those. Back. Back to game. Let it render a little bit. Really good performance here. This is not bad at all. Get on through here. So yeah, I mean, it's still a little laggy when we're looking at, you know, a bunch of the land here. But it's definitely playable at this frame rate. And if you go even lower with the rendering distance, you can get even better performance. This still looks great to me. I have plenty of render distance in the background. Everything looks great. I mean, everything looks like Minecraft. And uh, the game is beautiful, though, when the sun sets and everything. I had a few requests to test this out, so I figured I'd do it now. I've been a little busy the past couple days, but I promise... This weekend, I'm going to be uploading a ton of videos, guys. I have a ton of stuff planned. Just haven't had time to do it. So while we're here, let's just go all the way down. Everything down. Everything off. And see what happens here. Full screen. We'll turn the beautiful skies off, even though I love them. View bobbing. I don't really like that anyway. And everything's down to the lowest setting. 
So yeah. But as you see, that rendering distance, it sucks right now. What if we turn everything off except for beautiful skies? And we're going to turn that rendering distance maximum again. Back to game. Definitely playable. Maximum rendering distance. Beautiful skies on. You should have no trouble at all playing this game. And like you saw, if you start having trouble, you can just lower everything down. I mean, it's Minecraft, guys. There's not much to it. Oh, did not mean to come out of there or go in there. All right, guys, so I forgot one thing. We need to do some dynamite testing here. We have to do this. And I'm just going to lay out some blocks here. Now, some people have like a certain test where they lay out like three or four blocks. I'm just going to not even count, and I'm just going to throw out a ton of blocks. All right. And super slow down, but we're back to normal here. So that's it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any more requests, let me know in the comments below and I'll try my hardest to get something made by this weekend. If not, I'll have tons of time next week. And there's some bunnies over there. I'm gonna go kill one. Die, bunny, die! Oh man. Oh well. Alright. Could hit that like button and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments. And like always, thanks for watching.